everyone, I'm Leanne. If you don't know me, and if you do and you're back, thank you so much. I'm happy to have you guys back. Today, we are taking off my eyelash extensions. I don't know if you can tell from this distance, but I've got a bit of a situation. I live in Dallas. Right now, we have a shelter in place order going on, and it's been going on for a few weeks now. I've lost count. I'm not exactly sure how long, but I realized very quickly that I was gonna have to figure out an at-home solution for these lash extensions. I am basically addicted to lash extensions. I wanna say I've had lash extensions consistently for about like the last three years without taking a break. Don't quote me on that. I've lost all track of time, but I'm addicted. That's all I'm saying. And I have no idea what my lashes are gonna look like underneath these lash extensions. I feel pretty confident that I'm gonna be sad about it. They're gonna look pretty sad compared to my normal volume lash extensions that I've let dwindle down to not next to nothing because the girl that does my lashes is really amazing, very talented, does a really good job, so they hang on. <laughs> but I don't think that I can just like wait these out. I'm definitely approaching like Yzma territory. I'm not going for that look. It's bad, okay? They need to come off. And I talked to the girl that does my lashes and she's like, just look on Amazon. They have good glue removers. So I ordered this. I ordered this honestly like weeks ago and I've just been trying to ride these lashes out for as long as humanly possible. And this is, this is just the end of the road. I'm not going anywhere. I don't have anybody to impress, but like even my house doesn't deserve this. Oh, I almost forgot to say, after we do this lash extension removal, we're of course gonna see what my lashes look like after years and years of lash extensions with no breaks, hopefully. <laughs> They're not horrible. I feel like they won't be horrible, but they're definitely gonna look horrible to me because I'm used to seeing myself with volume lashes and it's gonna be different. It's gonna be a whole new look, but um, I feel like it's gonna be better than this look no matter what, because I'll be able to put mascara and curl them and everything because I have really sad, straight, snuffleupagus lashes. They like hang down like this. You remember snuffleupagus, right? So we're gonna make some observations, but then we're gonna try out some magnetic lashes. You know, not the magnetic lashes that sandwich your lashes, but the kind that stick to the magnetic liquid liner. So this is the remover that I got. It has almost a full five stars on Amazon. It was only $15. Most of the reviews that I saw said it was super, super easy. It takes the lashes off in like a couple of minutes. It's just the easiest thing in the world. But there were a couple of reviews that said it took like 45 minutes and multiple applications and it was like a complete pain, but it did work in the end. So we're gonna try it. I know there are more like DIY at home solutions using like coconut oil or olive oil and I'm not going there because I've done that in the past years and years and years ago when I first got lash extensions, I did not like them at all. They were like the original ones and they just, they looked really bad and me and my sister, tried to take on that project ourselves. That did not work for me. I do not wanna go through that struggle again. So that's why I'm going down this route. Maybe that would work for you, but I'm not doing it. I'm kind of nervous because pretty much on every review, positive or negative says, this stuff can really, really sting your eyes. So I don't want that to happen. I wanna keep it out of my eyes as much as humanly possible. I'm filming this in the bathroom so I can be really close to a water source in case something does get in my eye. I can just rinse it out really, really easily. And this stuff comes with next to no instructions. I mean, there are a little instructions. Actually, all it says is like a caution warning on the back. So there's that. Do not allow eye or skin contact. Avoid breathing vapors. Do not swallow. Keep away from sources of heat. And then first aid instructions. Keep out of reach your children, of course. All right. Let's do this. Yeah, there's nothing else in the package. It is just your gel remover. I don't know, I'm nervous and I feel like I'm rambling just to avoid this. I don't even know if I need to shake it. I'm just shaking it. Okay, so I really need to be paying attention to the mirror and my eyes and my life. I would not like to lose my vision in this process. So hopefully you can see me, you can see everything that's going on. Okay, so I tore off a little rectangle of paper towel so I could work one eye at a time. And I saw in the reviews that if you place a paper towel in between the lashes and work like that, it's better. I don't know, that was the technique that I saw in the reviews. I'm just trying to learn from the others that have gone before. Okay, this is it. This is how we're gonna do it. I'm perched on the countertop. I can really get in there. I guess let's do the right eye first. Y'all, oh, I'm so scared. 
For some reason, I'm having a lot of trouble keeping one eye closed. I didn't think this was a weakness of mine, but here we are. Okay, we're gonna wait a minute because you're supposed to put it on, wait a couple of minutes, and then try to brush them out. All right, none of them are just like, you know, slip sliding off, unfortunately. Who saw that coming? <laughs> okay, we're gonna put a little more. What have I gotten myself into? Oh, help me. <laughs> okay, let's try. All right, people, we're getting a couple off. I'm feeling encouraged. I'm about to be a bald-eyed lady. All right, here we go, party people. This is not the sight you ever want to see when you actually have lashes, but we're moving in the other direction today. Are those my actual lashes? I hope not. Okay, it looks like I just got <laughs> a couple hanging on, definitely a huge difference. This eye, this eye, we're making progress, people. We're gonna do another application. So what's going on with you guys? <laughs> just have like goo hanging off my lashes. Try to be patient for this one. Let it soak in. Can you see the goo? Is this a really gross video or is it a really boring video? Or is it both? <laughs> I mean, how are there still so many? They just keep coming forever and ever and ever. I never knew I had so many lashes on me. I took it for granted, y'all. Ew, 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 ew. <gasps> Whoa. One of the lashes was on my nail, I guess with a bunch of remover on it, and it's completely taking off my nail polish. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this stuff is not messing around. I mean, obviously if it's gonna dissolve glue, it's gonna dissolve nail polish, but like, <gasps> oh, it's really on this one. I'm gonna have to redo my nails after this. Oh, <gasps> look at that. I just wiped it with the paper towel. You definitely don't wanna get this in your eye. This is terrifying. Okay, moving on. Okay, so here's where we're at. We have that one little straggler guy hanging on strong, but other than that, I've taken off all the other lashes. So this is my situation. I don't feel good about this. This is not a great look for me. I'm not loving it at all, but can't go around like this. What's done is done. I need to move on to the other eye. Actually, I need to take care of this guy, but I'm gonna move on to the other eye and just come back to it because I just need to move on for my own sanity. Oh yeah, here we go. Definitely making some progress here. I feel like it's kind of starting to bother my eyes a little bit. I feel like I can smell it, but I've got to go in for another application. I got them off. I got the whole left eye done and then the little extra spikies that wouldn't come off, I finally got those off. I am a bald baby. Big reveal. <gasps> I look like a crazy person. I think you look great. I cannot wait to curl my lashes, put some mascara on. It's literally been years. Do you remember how? No, I do not remember how. Poke an eye out. I plan to. We gotta get a, a double eye patches. You know, that might be a better look than this. Next video, beard hair extensions. I just want to get two long ponytails. Kind of. Like braids? Braids, yeah. With beads? Threads. <laughs> Should I lock my beard with me? Here, let me zoom in and show you the damage. I didn't get it into my eyes. I do think that I could feel the fumes a little bit uh, if my eye wasn't completely closed whenever it was setting on the lash, but it didn't hurt or anything. It just kind of was like a reminder, like you better keep them closed, keep this goo out of your eyes. And it was surprisingly easy to keep it out. Um, and it was surprisingly easy to get it off. I do think it probably took about 25 minutes altogether, so it wasn't like the quickest, easiest process. It took more than a minute or two, like a lot of the reviews said, but it wasn't bad. I do think this glow really works if you're looking for a glue. Okay, let's go on to our next adventure. We're upstairs. I put on a little eyeshadow. I wanted to be upstairs with my lights and my mirrors and all the things I now need in my life, like waterproof mascara. And we're gonna try out these lashes and we're gonna see if these are a good option. I really hope they are because it, it just seems like a genius idea to me. And I've been so anxious to try these even while I had my lash extensions on. I probably could have tried it 
even with them, but I didn't. So we're doing it now, we're doing it together. I'm taking you along on my lash journey. <laughs> and while we're here, I haven't tried out any new mascaras in a really long time. And this came in the mail not too long ago. It's from L'Oreal, it's the Bambi Eye Mascara. I have it waterproof and regular. And since I have such straight lashes, I have to use at least one light coat of waterproof right after I curl them to keep the curl. And then I go in with regular mascara on top and that seems to work and it keeps my my lashes curled as much as I can. And then we're gonna go in with the magnetic lashes and see if that can work for me. All right, so first step, lash curler. Let's see what we can make of this. Oh my gosh, going through with the lash curler is making that one lash that is still stuck really stick out. It looks ridiculous. And I look like I have absolutely no lashes. They're all going in like different directions. Oh, help. Big yikes over here. This is not pretty. I did not miss doing this even a little bit. Okay, I just grabbed a little lash buoy, not the one that I was using to remove the glue, but they look kind of fried. They look crazy, like I slept on them wrong, but like in all different directions. I don't know if that's because of the lash extensions or because of the remover or what, but they look absolutely crazy. And they definitely look shorter than I remember my lashes being. So that's not great, but it's not like I have like bald spots or anything. I definitely think we can come back from this, <laughs> but this is not pretty y'all. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of the regular mascara just a little bit and then we'll do the lashes. I'm like, I'm smiling and I'm laughing, but like this is not great. Okay, just look at how crazy they are. I don't know if you can even see them. I can't even get you close enough. So my lashes always look a little bit strange when I curl them. They're not like a smooth curl. It's always like got little joints in it and it's not a very pretty curl, but it's all I can get. These are just on another level. They're all going different ways. They look absolutely strange right now. Not loving them, not too impressed. Maybe they just need to settle down. Maybe like after I take a shower, maybe tomorrow they'll be good after I wash my face. Washing my face is gonna be an all new experience because I'm maybe able to like rub my eyes and everything. Kind of looking forward to that. Gonna be interesting. Maybe they'll settle down. Maybe this is just a right now problem. We'll see. <sighs> I'm breathing. Let's try the magnetic lashes. So I got the Kiss brand magnetic eyeliner and lashes. It says it's quick and easy and it lasts up to 16 hours. It's wind resistant, no smudge. My whole understanding is you just basically line your eyes like you would with any other liquid liner, and then you set the lashes on the line and it's magnetized to the line, which it's just genius. It's just so genius. I'm so excited for this to work. So I got the charm lashes, which are sort of subtle, sort of not. We'll see. And there's five magnets spaced out across the lash band. I'm so excited for this, especially when I look at the mirror and I see this. Wow. Coming back into the world of lash curlers and mascara and waterproof mascara and liquid liner. I didn't miss any of this while I was gone. I'm actually not gonna do a wing or anything. I'm just gonna try to do a really thin line just along the lash line. Honestly, just because I haven't done a wing with liquid liner in so long and I don't want to test my luck. This brush is pretty easy to use and it goes on pretty opaque, which is really nice. The thing for me with liquid liner is I have to be really careful to keep it really thin and controlled because I don't have a ton of lid space that shows when my eyes are open because if it gets very thick at all, I just have nothing showing and it's not a great look for me. Okay, I think that's enough for that eye. I miss my lashes already. My lashes look so scraggly. It's almost like hard not to just laugh. I really wanted to take the lashes off and just be like, they look fine, they look great. But like, they do not look great. They look real scraggly. They look like they need some assistance. Okay, so I've got my liner on. It's a little bit wobbly, but hopefully it works. I don't know how thick you need your line to actually get the lashes to cling on but hopefully I've got enough. I've got a lot on my hands too. Oh, okay, so they're held onto the tray with magnets as well. Okay, it seems like the eyeliner is already dry, so let's just put this guy on. Oh, it grabs on. Oh, that was so easy. It looks crazy, but that was easy. Let me see, can I reposition? Oh, yes I can. Let me take it off. How easy was that? 
Usually you'd be like so screwed in this situation if you were using like traditional glue. I love not being screwed. Okay, let's get the front magnet in the right position. Wow, these are strong little magnets. This is awesome. Okay, all four of the magnets on this side are working perfectly. It's just this one inside corner magnet that isn't clinging on. Ooh, it sticks to my table. Anyway, I should have expected that. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more of the eyeliner towards the inner corner and hopefully that helps. I'm so excited. What took us so long with this technology? I mean like, hello, magnets. Okay, I waited a good little bit and I even got on Instagram and got distracted and saw these old people from the news and they were being reunited and it was the cutest thing and they'd been married for like, what, 63 years or was her 63rd birthday? I don't know. I almost started crying so I had to put the phone down and somehow my eyeliner is not completely dry. It's just like ever so slightly tacky, but we're just gonna try it anyway because I'm done waiting. And if I look at Instagram anymore, I'm just gonna cry it off anyway. So we just gotta get the show on the road here. I keep seeing my nails and they are just <laughs> awful. It's grabbing it now. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. It definitely needed that second coat of liner, but now, wow. I love this. I'm so excited. I'm so happy. Wow, things are really turning around for me after seeing my scraggly, scraggly lashes. <laughs> I needed this. I'm so glad I had these on hand. Look how easy that was. That took two seconds, which I actually got the eyeliner on the way it needed to be. I am back, y'all. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take a really close look. I don't think you can really see the magnets. Like they look kind of chunky whenever you're seeing it on the tray, but when it's on top of the liner, you really can't see them. It just looks like a regular lash band. Like it's as visible as your regular false lash. Lashes. Let me show you up close. I think they look really good and it was so easy, so much easier than regular lashes. I'm so impressed. I'm so excited this is an option, especially after seeing my sad little scragglies. That is not acceptable. I mean, it's fine. Lashes are not a big deal, especially with everything going on in the world. Like lashes are the least of our worries, definitely. But it's the little things. And I've been addicted to lashes for a long time. So I'm so happy this exists and I'm so happy I had them on hand. I would definitely suggest these. If you're having to take off your lash extensions and you feel sad and scraggly like I did like five minutes ago, these are definitely an amazing option. I'll tell you, again. actually I'll link them down below if you wanna see, cause they have different shapes and different styles. And I'm imagining that these would last and hold up for way more wears than your typical lash, just because you're not coating it in glue every time and having to like pick it off and it, they get misshapen and all of that. Like I will update you guys. I'll keep wearing these and let you know if they do hold up over time, because I can see myself wearing these like every day. That was so easy. They're so easy. You could wear them every day. And I've never been a person that wanted to wear like actual glue on false lashes every day. Like that was never my life. No, way too much hassle. Like, can you tell how excited I am about this? Like 10 stars, 10 out of 10 stars. I'm so happy this exists in the world. I really appreciate you guys watching. I hope you guys are good. I hope you're staying safe and staying healthy and taking care of everyone around you. I love you guys and I'm glad you're here. I hope you subscribe. If you're already subscribed, thank you so much. You are my people and I love you. If you wanna find me on social media, I'm always over there and I love talking to you guys over there. It's Leanne Says Everywhere. And hit the bell for notifications if you wanna keep up with all the new videos and all the new vlogs that I put out every week. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone. I have a little triangle. What? <laughs> Hello. Um, I'm scared. I don't, I just, uh. Why is it so loud? Help. Mm. Got it on the nose. What happened?